Welcome to the Features video of WooCommerce Role-Based Pricing Extension. Once the extension is installed, you can configure pricing from product page and using global pricing rules. Let's start with global pricing rules. Go to Role-Based Pricing and click on All Rules. Here you can add multiple pricing rules. Click on Add New Rule to add rules. Add rule title for future reference. Set rule priority. Enable this option if you want to apply price change to entire catalog, or you can select products and categories individually. Set price change for selected customers and user roles. Let's apply a price change to B2B user roles. You can select price change type from five available options. Add discount value here. Set minimum and maximum quantity. Let's see how the role-based price are displayed on front end. You can see the price has been reduced by 50% for this user role only. Let's go back to the back end and see how the product level pricing works. Edit any product to see the pricing settings. We will edit the hoodie, a variable product. You can see the pricing setting display for each variation. You can set customer or role specific pricing here. Let's see the other major feature of the extension that allows you to hide price and add to cart button from specific user roles. Select checkbox to enable this feature. You can hide price for guest roles and specific registered user roles. Let's select the guest users in this case. Select Hide Price if you want to hide price of product. You can add custom text here that will replace the price. You can add custom text or URL here that will replace Add to Cart button. Now select products or categories for which you want to hide price and hide Add to Cart button. We will select Beanie here. Let's go to the front end and see how it looks. You can see the price and Add to Cart is no longer visible for guest user roles. Let's see other features of this extension. Click on Settings to see General Settings. Enable this option if you want to calculate discount by excluding tax. Use these you can customize different error messages displayed on front end. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.